Hi. How do you do? Fine? Okay. Today, we are going to see next topic. Topic. Stress mark in English speech. Stress is not new to you. Already I have been telling you what is stress and then we are using stress in words. Uh, so it's uh, no more new. You have learned something about stress. We are, uh, we'll see more. These uh, numerous words, thousands and thousands of words in English because uh, it's a very big language. Uh, so we'll have to learn more and more. So what is stress? Stress mark types, stress types in English uh, speech. What is stress? Uh, you know, it's uh, we pronounce English words uh, uh, that is putting a, a stress on a, uh, one syllable. Every word, if you take, uh, if it is monosyllabic, uh, no question of uh, putting stress mark. Uh, if there are uh, two syllable words, uh, three syllable words, uh, uh, there is four, five, uh, we put uh, one stress, prominent stress, one stress uh, on one syllable in words. Uh, so, uh, a stress in our accent, that is with the extra force. We don't pronounce all syllables alike. That is one syllable we pronounce uh, with the extra force, the emphasis. That is uh, a syllable stress that is stress and um, stress mark you know this is stress mark one vertical line we put another we just write the phonetic uh, phonetic transcription i already i i always put uh, the stress mark you know and uh, uh, types of stress that is uh, primary stress uh, secondary stress other stress uh, pattern the stress type also is there but uh, let us uh, restrict ourselves only to primary stress and secondary stress. A primary stress is what a stress we put on one syllable in a word. That is primary. Primary, you know, with the prominence we pronounce that syllable. For example, the sign, the sign, you know, that sign, the syllable that I stress is louder, louder. And the sign, sign, mainly, you know, we stress only the vowels uh, in a syllable. So, what is stress, you know? Stress mark, uh, uh, stress mark, you know, and uh, types of stress. That is primary stress. What is secondary stress? Primary and secondary stress. Secondary stress, you know, if the word is, uh, uh, is a polysyllabic word, having a, uh, four, five syllables, then when you start, you know, uh, that is that word with uh, taking a breath, uh, there you have to uh, uh, put a stress, light stress. Uh, that is a uh, uh, psychological, psychological, psychological. So the first syllable, psi, you know, is stressed. That is secondary stress, psychological, logical, logical. That is a primary stress because you know that syllable is stressed with the extra forms. Okay, so primary stress, secondary stress. Secondary stress, where do we come across? When we pronounce words with more than four syllables or words which have four syllables, more than four syllables. Okay, then do other languages have a stress? Word stress, you know, uh, that is, if we stress one syllable in a word, uh, it is called word stress. Sentence stress, you know, in sentence, uh, sentences, when we speak out sentences, uh, we stress uh, some words, not all words. Uh, that also I have already told you, giving, uh, citing examples. Uh, okay, so uh, when you press, uh, there is a, um, there is a, uh, that is, when you speak, uh, giving extra force uh, to words, some words in a sentence, it is called sentence stress. Some words alone you stress in a sentence, uh, it is called sentence stress. Okay. So, why do we bother again very much about uh, stress? Because, you know, in English, stress and intonation very, very important. Pronunciation, stress, intonation all go together. 
they can't stand all alone. Uh, that is, uh, um, it is uh, uh, such a language uh, where, you know, the English, the native speakers, uh, uh, that is, uh, care very much for, unless, you know, you don't stress a particular syllable in a word, uh, that too, you know, on the right syllable, they can't understand what you are speaking. Your speech uh, fails. It becomes unintelligible. Communication fails. Remember again, why do we care very much to learn English language? Because uh, we have to compete with uh, or we, we have to speak uh, with uh, native speakers. Uh, when we go for higher studies, research, business, uh, remember that is our target. Uh, remember you are target always. So they consider stress very important in their speech. And because you know, it is uh, um, uh, that is a uh, even a child cannot follow our English when we don't, uh, that is a stress, uh, uh, syllables. That is why, you know, other languages have a stress. For example, our mother tongue, uh, that is, uh, uh, that is uh, here, you know, uh, in our country, you know, many Indian languages, uh, they don't have, uh, they don't have a, a stress uh, pattern. We don't stress some syllables. Uh, uh, we stress only uh, whether what syllable. No, we don't stress. Uh, there is, I am a Tamil. I asked Canada people, when Hindi and some others, you know, they stress all syllables alike in their speech, in their mother tongue, you know, this is how they speak. And the other European languages, you know, uh, French, uh, uh, Spanish, uh, Russian, they have uh, uh, syllable stress, but uh, differently. But, you know, almost, you know, they stress the, the stress all syllables uh, in words uh, alike. Their uh, stress rules are different. So, uh, they have, uh, uh, but uh, uh, they, they, that is, uh, uh, it is not very, uh, that is very strict. Uh, strict rules are not followed as uh, they are followed in English language. Okay, how important is uh, uh, stress uh, mark in English? Uh, that is why we care very much uh, to learn uh, uh, with all difficulties. Uh, that is how important, uh, I have already told you, cited an example, uh, that is as to how we know in uh, USA uh, airport, in uh, an American airport, uh, uh, some foreigners, uh, Europeans, uh, waiting uh, for, uh, uh, that is for their flight uh, uh, to arrive, uh, and they are asking uh, the clerk, uh, a lady, uh, that is, please help us uh, uh, to go to uh, that is, uh, 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 Ch Chicago boarding uh, gate. Chicago boarding gate. Chicago. That is, as usual, you know, we all non native speakers stressing the first syllable. Chicago. The lady couldn't follow, then saw the ticket, uh, then uh, understood. Oh, I see. You want to go to the uh, there is uh, that boarding gate bound for uh, Chicago. Chicago. She stresses the second syllable. So those people who speak English, that is uh, native speakers, Americans or English, uh, they can uh, understand our English. Uh, that is, if we stress uh, uh, the syllables uh, properly. Otherwise, uh, our speech fails. It's funny, but it's uh, uh, reality. So, how important is the stress uh, uh, that is marked in English? Because, you know, the stress habit, uh, the stressing syllables uh, in their speech is uh, ingrained in their bloodstream. That is, they are accustomed to, they tend to stress. Uh, there's no other go for us also. Uh, so, we have to learn uh, what to stress, uh, where to put the stress mark, uh, all. Then, uh, close for uh, stress uh, mark. How to learn? It's very difficult. How to learn a uh, uh, stress mark? Uh, uh, if at all we want to make our uh, speech intelligible to native speakers, if at all uh, we should compete with, uh, we should be able to compete with them uh, in all fields, uh, in studies, in education, business, commerce. Uh, how there are clues. The moreover, you know, English language is a vast language, enormous language. All uh, other uh, languages contributing to uh, English dictionaries uh, every year, every uh, decade. So, you know, but uh, don't be afraid, don't be frightened. Uh, there are clues for uh, learning a stress mark. 
And there are two ways in which uh, we can uh, uh, learn following those methods or uh, getting those clues. Uh, we can uh, uh, learn. Uh, one is uh, uh, English words, you know, word endings. Uh, different word endings are there. Words are there ending with T-I-O-N, I-T-Y, city, you know, I-T-Y, elasticity, I-T-Y, S-S-I-O-N, and then S-C-I-O-N. And like that, you know, word endings are there. So depending upon the word endings, uh, are these word endings serve as clues for us to pick up uh, the stress, which we will learn later. Then, you know, parts of speech. Parts of, what are parts of speech? Words that we use in our speech, you know, are grammatically divided into, uh, that is, uh, uh, divided into um, uh, groups such as uh, verbs, nouns, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, uh, etc. So, there are rules, are not rules, usually in uh, speech practice, uh, if we carefully pick up, we can find out, we can pick up, pick up or pick out some clues. That is, if it is a noun, the word is a noun, this is how, you know, the first syllable is stressed. If it is a verb, the second syllable is stressed. If it is a two syllable words. And again, you know, if it is a noun, the first syllable, if it is a verb, you know, the second syllable, conduct. Conduct, conduct, second syllable is stress. If it is a noun, conduct, conduct. Clues are there. And then, you know, adjective. Almost, you know, if you look into dictionary, refer to dictionary, pick out some adjectives. Beautiful, for example, beautiful. The first syllable is stress, beautiful. Okay, now, like that, if you pick up many adjectives, almost all adjectives, uh, uh, that is, uh, the, the stress uh, falls on the first syllable. And a preposition, uh, that is a preposition in, on, at, uh, one uh, monosyllabic, uh, that is uh, if they are disyllabic words, uh, between, before, between, before. So the second syllable, between, between, before, before. The second syllable is uh, stressed. Like that, you know, as a uh, adverb, adverb, you know, suddenly, foolishly, suddenly, foolishly. That is uh, the First syllable is stress. Suddenly, I saw him on the road and uh, foolishly, that is, uh, he did foolishly this. Uh, okay, so there are some clues uh, which you can pick out uh, from uh, parts of speech, words which we use uh, in our speech, uh, that is, uh, grammatical words, verb, nouns, adjectives, adverbs. So, uh, above all, uh, what is important is, uh, more important is uh, our. Uh, Thirst for learning, our uh, interest, that is, uh, yeah, but I don't doubt your uh, interest, uh, I don't doubt your uh, thirst for English speech, uh, uh, you have great interest, so I hope I have uh, set the tune for our topic, stress mark in English speech, uh, and uh, hope uh, We'll go on successfully with the topic. Until then, I say bye to you. But don't give up your practice of learning English speech. Bye.